We cannot have faith when we need it unless we have it before the need arises. We cannot have faith before we need it unless we have it before the need arises. That's why so many people panic and are in trouble. They've not filled their vessels with the word, with fellowship, with knowing God. If you are not consistently walking with God on a daily basis, can you still be in a time of trouble and stress? If you are consistently walking with Him. Yes, you can, but you will have peace. You will have the peace that passes all understanding. Human nature will tell you to focus on your trouble. Talk about it. Justify it. But God says, be still. What does it mean to be still? Well, I, I always understood um, it to mean where you just, hmm, you know, you just sit there and you just be quiet. And you meditate, you know. And, but no, to be still means to desist in the, in the Hebrew. To desist, to cease from all action, to give up, let go. What are you holding on to this morning? What trouble are you holding on to and trying to fix and make right? Let go. Let it go. Give up. Let God be your present help in time of trouble. Amen. Cease from striving. And why is he asking us to do that? Because he is God. Because he is God and he wants to be glorified. He wants to be recognized. Nothing can be more destructive than us carrying our troubles, our worries, and our anxieties, and our problems. We're really, when we do that, we're saying, God, what you did really didn't work. Right? He said, come unto me, all you that labor and have you I believe true maturity is when you can let go, give up, all that is coming at you, and you can find his presence. It's not far. It's not something you've got to rack your brains out and read a book and try to figure it out. It's at the very mention of his name. It, it, it's at the very idea of you making a de decision in your heart of locking yourself away if you have to shut the door and say, God, I choose to sit here with you. I choose to worship you. Trust me, you will not. You Sometimes you think you may not know what to say, but you will. It, it will start welling up in you. The spirit in you will start welling up in you. And you'll start singing love songs and, and just manifesting the love of Christ in you to him. And your life will be changed. Knowing that he is God and he is bigger than all your troubles will keep you in perfect peace when you acknowledge him. <clears throat> Isaiah 26 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. John 14, 27, The peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world, the world's got no peace. There's no peace in sedatives, there's no peace in whatever, whatever, whatever remedies you get from the world system. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So this morning, let go of your trouble. That's what God's asking. Give all your trouble to him. For he is who he says he is, and he will do what he says he will do. He is a present help in time of trouble. God is saying this morning to choose life. Stop trying to fix your problems. Stop going down easy road. Hallelujah. That's all I have, but I feel this morning um, <clears throat> the Lord had, um, I love it when the Lord interrupts my life in regards to other people's lives. And last night I was praying and the Lord, um, I heard him calling to people. And it's, if, if I can minister to these two people, um, I'd like them to come forward. It's Lena and um, Steve. And um, I heard the Lord say, when he called your names to me, I heard him say the word Baca. I'm saying it right? Ba Baca? The Valley of Baca? <coughs> and so I looked it up. <clears throat> and it's Psalm 84. 
And I felt to read you verse 5 and 6 out of the NLT, and it's, What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrim to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing. Refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. And I felt the Lord say to me, uh, Steve and Lena, that your weeping is over. That the rains of refreshing are here. That your harvest is here. And, and um, I felt a while ago, Steve, a few months ago, actually, and the Lord wouldn't release it, that the Lord had told me to tell you to pick up your sword. That you are to pick it up and you are to yield it. It's a, it's a season of um, thrusting. It's a season of receiving blessing from God. It's your harvest. And I just want to pray for both of you. Father, I just thank you for this couple. I don't know them, really. I just thank you, Lord, that what work you've done in their hearts, where you brought them from, that their weeping is over. So, Father, I remove any kind of um, heaviness that they may be or have walked in, Lord, and that you would send the rains of refreshing upon them from the top of their head to the tip of their toes, oh God, that you would pour forth your time of refreshing in their hearts, God, in Jesus' mighty name. I just thank you for them, Lord, and for what you've done, and that they are pillars in the house of God, Lord. Thank you that they, are, they get their strength from you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Praise you. I'd like to pray for you. Is that okay if I pray for you? Jane? Stephanie? Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord loves you. You've got a real tender heart towards God. He sees the tenderness. He sees the cries in your heart. Even though things have been hard for you, the journey's been a little difficult, you've made him your strength. You've looked to him. You've cried out to him. And he wants you to know that he has bottled all your tears. He has taken everything that you have presented before him, and he's working on it. He says he's working on it right now. He's going to work, and he's, he's changing things, he's altering things, and he's adjusting things just for you. Because he says you're the apple of his eye. And that his love for you is great. So don't stop doing what you're doing. Pursue him. Love on him. And there's changes coming in your family. Change is coming in your home. Change is coming in relationships. That's all I have. So be blessed and praise God. Should I just release everybody? Anybody who wants prayer, I, I'll pray for you. So you know, you feel. Otherwise, we can just be released for, or no, we want to wait. Okay. I think sometimes we, we, we tend to be more concerned about what's yeah, going on there afterwards. When there's ministry, we should have people. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do I press that button? Slide. in heavenly places, God. And Father, I just rebuke right now every seizure that has come against her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke it. You have no hold on this temple. You have no hold on her. She belongs to the Most High God. And I just speak healing right now to flow from the top of her head to the tip of her toes. From the tip of her head, from the top of her head to the tip of her toes. Father, I ask that you would just heal brain activity, wherever the seizures have tried to uh, overtake. It's there. And right now, fear to be gone, too. God has really given you a spirit of fear. It's there. You belong to Jesus. It's there. You are His ownership. You don't 
belong to sickness, you don't belong to anything.